Welcome back to Hawkins Arena. The Mercer Bears opening up with a 79-48 win over the North Georgia Nighthawks. And Coach Greg Gary joining us now. Coach, I know has to be glad to be able to get your team out on the basketball court and start the road back to normalcy. Yeah, it does. And you, you it's good just to play somebody else that has a different color jersey on. Uh, and and obviously, you know, because in practice you're guarding all your same stuff and it gets monotonous. Uh, so it was good to see how they compete against somebody else. I, the first half I didn't think went very well as far as that competition goes. And I don't know if it's nerves or it doesn't really matter. But we got to get out of the gate a little bit faster. I thought they did a good job making adjustments and figuring things out through the game and had a had an excellent second half. Yeah, a lot of different faces, a lot of new, uh, newcomers you're having you're having to play this year, and you got good production from a lot of different people. Yeah, and that's that's what we we, we got to take advantage of that. Uh, just because we have balance. Uh, so we have to be able to learn to play with each other and, and know that, hey, it might not be my night, but I can help another guy get going. I can do better on defense or other ways that I can help the team besides scoring. Uh, because on the offensive end, I do think we have enough weapons and different weapons that, that we can give some problems to people. But on the defense and rebounding side, we've got to do a much better job. What is going to be the key for this team this year to have success down the road? Uh, I, I really just hit on it. I think from a standpoint of – Depth is good, but you have to you have to be able to play different ways and different with different people uh, because it's we're trying to figure out too like okay is this a good lineup is that a good lineup uh, because we have to use our depth just because we have it and it can and it can really help us but I we have to be able to learn to share the ball and then we have to be able to play defense at least make it more difficult on people than what we did that first half. Of course, you got a big, a big test against Georgia Tech coming up, and then back home on Monday, so you get a chance to kind of see a little bit more of what your guys can do. Yeah, two very good teams. Uh, first in Georgia Tech Friday night, they got four of their five starters back from last year. Uh, Josh does a great job. Like they, they've, they, they really came on towards the end last year. They got two transfers that that uh, got their waivers to play right away with uh, a kid from USC and a kid from Georgia. So they have some depth, but their guards are great. I mean, they've got size, and they, they just know they can score and run a team. Uh, so it's going to be a really good challenge for us. Uh, but that's that's good. That's what our guys want. And, um, you know, we're, we're looking forward to going up there on Friday. I closed out with a comment about Ross Cummings, obviously. Uh, I'm very pleased to have him back and healthy. Yeah, he, he's moving well, and, and obviously he could always shoot it even when he was at 60%. <laughs> uh, he's going to be able to shoot it when he's 40, 50 years old playing noon ball. <laughs> Uh, but he, he was it was good to see him be able to make some drives and and also you know he can always shoot the ball but he, he's I was happy for him because you know he's he's feeling healthy and he's stronger and um, we just got to get him playing a little bit defense he had a block shot tonight I think it might have been his first in his career I got to check those stats we, we we replayed it a couple times I think everybody, but it's good stuff to have Greg Gary thanks very much congratulations Mercer winning their opener on the Thanksgiving Eve. Hope you enjoyed college basketball.